idea of there being a platform for nurse practitioner students um, just gives an opportunity for practitioner students to connect and also to kind of learn from people that are either going through the same thing that they are or have just graduated like me or, you know, graduated a few years ago. So they kind of have already paved the way and have, you know, different ideas and inspirations. I don't know if I would say surprising, but I, I always am discovering more and more on a deeper level. Like I will engage someone all the time, like vociferously about how much I love my job and how much I love being a nurse practitioner. So I think t being able to talk about it on a deeper level, um, you know, just my academic and personal journey um, is rewarding to me. I wanted to keep it closer to what I was, cause I originally wrote it like two years ago. So I was listening, I've been listening to more Taylor Swift lately than, than I was back then. Um, I've always listened to Taylor Swift, but like the Goo Goo Dolls, I'll listen to, or like Avril Lavigne, I'll listen to on like a long, like a long road trip more so. And I was doing a lot more driving back then. So I think that that's why I changed my answer. I think that, and what I talk to patients about is if I am not living my life in the way that I'm talking to them about living, you know, paying attention to what you eat, um, making sure that you're just going on 10 minutes of walks, a 10, a 10 minute walk a few times a day. Um, you know, if you're not doing those things um, yourself, then it almost seems hypocritical to me. Like I need to be living the life that I'm telling patients on their journey that they need to be doing the small steps that they need to change to get better. Also, uh, to be able to live that way, um, for NP students particularly, I always say to get involved, get to know your professors maybe. I know that my program is pretty unique and um, less than 20 people in the Psych NP program, but a lot there are other programs that are like that. Um, and even if it's not, I always encourage people, get to know your cohort, the people that you're going to school with, um, get involved in your school. There's, no matter what school it is, they're going to have organizations. So just making yourself known and uh, getting involved in that way. Um, those are just a few things. I would say that it's really important to make sure that whether you're an NP student or whether you're a nurse practitioner, um, I do a lot more studying than I ever than I than I did in school. I do a lot more studying now um, than I ever did in school, and I would research do read research papers on the weekends during school anyway. But um, because the job that we have as nurse practitioners, diagnosing, assessing, prescribing medications. Um, we have to take that very, very seriously, and I take my job very seriously. And so, all of our decision making making rests on us and you know our knowledge. And so that's what I would say is make sure that you're keeping up to date on the newest research and the evidence, so that you can implement that into your practice, so that patients have the best possible outcomes. <laughs>